My name is Jonah Hill. I am Hopi Silversmith, and we are at the Desert View Watchtower. Hot fire. I specialize in a jewelry process called tufa casting, which is using a volcanic stone where you carve into one side of the stone and pour metal into it to produce a piece of jewelry. It's a very old process. It was introduced to the Navajo people by the Spanish silversmiths. It eventually made its way out into Hopi. It's a really fun process. You know, the stone is found widely on the reservation. I go out and mine it. Coming into this area, there's a lot of people from across the world, across the United States, who are ignorant of the people of this area. Are you Indian? Do you live in a teepee? Where are all the other Indians? You know, that, I get that a lot. To me, I kind of take that in stride. As a demonstrator, it's part of what I do is to help to educate them on who the people are in this land, as well as the art forms that we practice, so that they walk away from this place enlightened. It's important to understand that the Grand Canyon has a really challenging history with our tribal neighbors. It started with how the park was created. We forcibly removed people who lived here from time immemorial. And then for 100 years or so, we kept them from the park. We've essentially made them strangers in their own lands. I've come to realize that I can't manage this park without a true partnership. They understand this place in ways that we don't. They connect to this place in ways that we don't. I'm at the Desert View Watchtower where we're about to break ground on a new construction project that will allow tribal neighbors to help us both interpret and manage this place. We get six million visitors a year to the Grand Canyon. Vending opportunities, cultural demonstrations, that'll help create a complete interpretive experience for our visitors. The plans for the Desert View Watchtower Cultural Center is something really big and exciting to me. It's gonna be huge for Native peoples, Native artists, and for the park itself. This is a really important cornerstone project to provide a really honest and complete interpretation of the history of the Grand Canyon based on respect for our tribal partners and expand that vision across the park. Partnership between the Grand Canyon, the Park Service, and the Native tribes is gonna be very important, bridging a gap. Visitors are going to be learning from the tribal people. The park's going to be helping the tribe to bring recognition to this community. Our tribal neighbors have always been an important part of the park. This project at Desert View will really establish a positive, constructive engagement, and our tribal neighbors will be able to tell their stories themselves. That's really what we're trying to accomplish here. I want to thank all of the friends of the Grand Canyon who have contributed to this project at Desert View, including the Arizona Lottery.